Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Myself Vivek M, studying in Information Science and Engineering, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru. So today here, let's see a subject about software testing, and the subject code is 18IS62. So, and the topic in a software testing is variations on mutation analysis. So let's see what is all about variations on mutation analysis variations on mutation analysis what is mutation analysis mutation analysis is a technique used in a software testing to evaluate the quality and effectiveness of test cases by introducing artificial faults this is a technique which is used in a software testing which is used to evaluate the quality and effectiveness of a test case by introducing a error or a fault known as mutations which is introduced into a program's code the process involves running the modified code with the test suit and checking if the test case can detect the introduced faults so the process which is involves um, it checks whether the uh, it checks whether the test case can detect the error or not so basically uh, Mutation analysis will be having original program whereas a mutant program will be introduced into the original program and compare the results of the both programs by the output. So and the next is while the basis while the basic principles of mutation analysis remains the same there are several variations and extensions of this technique that have been developed over time. Here are few notable variations on mutation analysis so these are all the type of mutation analysis traditional mutation analysis higher order mutation analysis equivalent mutation analysis selective mutation analysis and uh, coupling mutation analysis and the last one is multi objective mutation analysis so let's see what is all about traditional mutation analysis so the first and foremost is traditional mutation analysis this is the original form of mutation analysis so traditional mutation analysis is a original form of a mutation analysis where simple syntactic changes are made to the program's code where in the traditional mutation analysis the simple changes are made in the program's code such as changing an operator or a replacing or a replacing a variable with a constant the test suit is then executed against the mutant code and if a test case fails to detect the mutation it is considered as inadequate so this is all about a traditional mutation analysis so this is a basic diagram or a basic diagram of a traditional mutation analysis so and the next one is higher order mutation analysis higher order mutation analysis in this variation mutations are not limited to simple syntactic changes but can involve more complex transformations such as replacing expressions or statements with equivalent but different ones in this higher order mutations it, is, it will be not done in a simple syntactic changes but it will it can involve more complex changes such as uh, replacing such as replacing the expressions and the statements so in the different ones and the goal is to create more challenging mutants that can expose subtle errors in a test suit so the goal the goal of the higher order mutation analysis is to create more challenging mutants that can create expose suitable errors in a test suit so this is a basic diagram of higher order mutation analysis and so the next one is equivalent mutation analysis in traditional mutation analysis mutants that are functionally equivalent to the original program are often generated so in a traditional mut uh, mutation analysis uh, the original programs are often generated these mutants may not be useful for evaluating the test suits effectiveness equivalent mutant analysis focuses on identifying and filtering out mutants that are semantically equal to the original programs in this equivalent mutation analysis 
in this equivalent mutational analysis it's only focus on identifying and filtering out the mutants that are semantically semantically equivalent to the original programs thus reducing the number of redundant mutants so this is all about the equivalent mutation analysis and so the next one is selective mutation analysis instead of mutating the entire program selective mutation analysis target specific portions of the code that are deemed critically or more likely to the contain faults in selective mutation analysis it won't change the entire program it only select the uh, some specific portions of the code that where it, where it will be having a um, uh, critical or a more likely contain faults or errors by focusing on selected by focusing on selected code regions this approach reduces the computational cost of the mutation analysis while still providing valuable insights into effectiveness of test suit so this is all about the mutation selective mutation analysis and the next one is coupling mutation analysis in this coupling mutation analysis this variation extends mutation analysis to consider the interactions and dependence between different components or models of a software system mutations are applied not only to individual components but also to their interactions in this coupling mutation analysis the mutations are not only applied to the individual components but it also applies to them uh, but it also applies to the interactions allowing for detection of faults that arise from coupling of different models so this is all about coupling mutation analysis and the last one is multi objective mutation analysis so typically the goal of mutation analysis is to evaluate the adequacy of a test suit based on a fault detection capabilities multi objective mutation analysis take a broader perspective and considers multi objective simultaneously it takes a broader perspective and considers multiple objectives simultaneously such as maximizing fault detection while minimizing the number of generated mutants or the execution of time analysis so this is all about the multi objective mutation analysis so this is a basic or a diagram of a multi objective mutation analysis whereas cas has a traffic message channel and uh, also media format media format will be having mp3 and a wma and a cs also will be having control in control it is divided into four sub parts it is a channel section forward or backward volume and a switch cs is also will be having playback uh, playback and a playback is also having usb and cd input and cs is also having navigation system in navigation system it also have map data via cd map data via usb so this is multi objective mutation analysis thank you for watching